You're watching Sports is Africa. The Continental Track Cycling Championships came to an end in Peter Maritzburg over the weekend, with South African cyclists carrying all before them. The championships, which hadn't been held since 2001, have been hailed as a success by the president of the Confederation of African Cycling's Track Commissioner, William Newman. To find out more, we can speak to Mr. Newman himself, who joins us on Skype from South Africa. Mr. Newman, hello. In terms of the world standard, how would you assess these championships? Yeah, the 2015 African Track Championships was a groundbreaking event for Africa. And um, therefore, the standard is something that we obviously will look at. South Africa at this point in time is streets ahead of the other African nations just because South Africa has been involved with track racing for a longer period of time than all the other African nations. Um, but we are not complacent. And um, there were some very encouraging results, though, from the other nations. South Africa did not have its own way. Um, if you look at the women's events, Egypt won medals. Um, Tunisia won a medal, and in the men's junior events, Algeria won a medal, and the racing from the other um, nations in Africa was of a very high standard. You can see they physically are fit and able, but the technical aspects will have to be refined, and I'm sure they will come back even better next year. So the South Africa, although we are the leaders in track cycling on the continent, we are not complacent with a bit of work from the African Confederation side. We will develop the discipline, and therefore more nations will be challenging South Africa into the future. There's just such a lot of talent that we just have to nurture that talent and develop that talent so that the riders can be at the level and even beyond where South Africa is at the moment. Okay, you highlighted some other winners, but the podium places were dominated by South African riders. Surely this is indicative of your superiority in this discipline. Yeah, look, um, South Africa has a start on the other nations because of us having been involved in the discipline for a longer period of time. So this being the first championships for a very long time. Um, it shows that, you know, South Africa is up there um, and above the other nations. Um, so it makes sense that South Africa did dominate. Um, so the South Africa took most of the gold medals on offer, but it wasn't easy. Um, we could be seen as the dominant force, but it was not easy. Um, the Libyan riders, the Tunisian riders, the Cote d'Ivoire riders all gave a good account of themselves. And the guys from Nigeria, there was a guy from Nigeria who is based in, in the UK and he flew all the way at his own cost to be at these championships because he wanted to be here and he was a very good rider. So South Africa is dominating at this point in time, but I don't think that dominance will stay for a long period of time because the other nations will definitely gear themselves up towards competing at a higher level. And as I said, the African Confederation will work with the other nations to develop the discipline on the continent. And there's a lot of activity planned for the next year leading up to the next continental championships. So the standard definitely will improve. So South Africa really cannot be complacent. OK, you highlighted winners from some other nations already there, but collectively, which other nations put up a bold showing during the meet? Yeah, I was very impressed with the nations from North Africa. If I look at the ladies from Egypt, I saw one of them at the African Youth Games on the road last year. And this year, she is an elite rider, and she actually gave a very good account of herself. And she raced with the best riders from South Africa and being very competitive and not only being in the bunch but actually racing very hard and the girls from Tunisia and Libya also you know they did very well and the Tunisian also got a medal and in the junior ranks there's a young guy from Algeria you can see he's a lanky road rider he's made the transition from the road because that's their background um, but he actually rode very well under the circumstances. Also, you know, the very first time on the track, um, he gave a good account of himself. And again, they did, did not just sit in the bunch. They actually challenged, did the pacing and competed. And they were there at the end. And, you know, he walked away with two bronze medals. So, yes, it's, it's a whole combination of a lot of factors that bring these riders together and there's a definite will within the African nations to actually improve the discipline and I think the riders will now go back home and tell the rest of the 
the federation and the other riders that you know what track is a fantastic discipline and i foresee a lot of growth in in this discipline i just also want to share with you what was an offer you know for winning a title this is the championship jersey. These are the medals that the riders rode for. So, you know, to wear this jersey internationally will mean a lot to the riders and they will be going all out to actually make sure that they can compete for the top spot of the podium next time around. So it's a very encouraging start. And, you know, we as the Confederation of African Cycling are very excited about the development of track cycling. And I'm very proud that Cycling South Africa could host this inaugural event for track on the continent. You rightly talk about the hopes of individual riders there, but what programs can the governing body put in place to develop elite track cycling on the continent? Yes, I've had very good meetings. Our Confederation of African Cycling President, Dr. Wadi Azam, was present at the championships and he was amazed to see the level of the racing and the competitors and the entries. And immediately we set aside some time to discuss the way forward and definitely what is needed to make the next edition of the championships a success is to have a development plan. And what that entails is to have training camps around the continent for riders from Africa to come and compete and, and hone their skills. We will get coaches coached and or trained up to be able to coach the riders, but more importantly, we will have training camps um, for riders so that they can become more familiar with track racing throughout the year. And what we will do, we will start in the areas or in the countries where there definitely are valid rooms. We know that Nigeria has a world-class 250-meter concrete enclosed track in Abuja. So definitely that's a country that we will be hosting a training camp in. And then I know Algeria and Morocco have velodromes, so we'll focus on those um, countries also to host um, training camps. And we will also be looking beyond Africa. Um, we will be looking at Asia to see how we can do twin competitions in terms of Africa-Asia competitions. And then just provide more opportunities for our riders to just get, you know, to become more of a with track racing over the next year so that the next edition of the African Track Continental Championships will be of a very high standard. And I'm sure all the nations will embrace this, having now been given a taste of what is to come. So it's a very exciting time for Africa. And we as a Confederation of African Cycling see it as our duty to continue working hard with the track discipline to make sure that our African cyclists do get the opportunity to excel on the track. Just by way of example, as a result of these championships. South Africa has five riders who have qualified for the World Championships now, uh, which take place in Paris next month. So that's very exciting. And there's no reason why these riders couldn't be drawn from other nations next year when they start winning the, um, the, the title. So that's an inspiration to the rest of Africa as well. And it shows the benefit of hosting these championships and also of growing the discipline in Africa. Sounds like there's plenty to look forward to. Thank you very much for joining us, Mr. Newman.